Also, some of you guys might remember this old 80s Tecumseh uh, Craftsman lawnmower with the Tecumseh motor on it. Old school. It's one of the real old school ones where the cylinder is actually facing you as you mow. This thing is seized solid. The guy that I uh, picked it up from basically told me that he was just using it one day and it decided to seize up on him. So I just went ahead and attached my third hand here to lock the blade cable down. And go ahead and disconnect the spark plug wire because I'm going to show you guys something. Now, I've seen this been done before and uh, it's not really a method. It's not really a method that I trust at least as far as if I was going to go ahead and sell this thing on to somebody else. Uh, I don't trust it for any long length of time just because, you know, once a motor seizes, it really messes up the inside of the cylinder wall. Indentations and gouges start appearing on the inside of the cylinder wall. So yeah, you, in a lot of the cases, probably even this one, you can free up a motor and, uh, you know, get it running again. But more often than not, what happens is as you use it, and as we saw with that uh, pressure washer I picked up, it's exactly like that one over there with the Honda on it. The guy that I got that thing from did the same exact thing. He seized it up, had run it low on oil. He ended up uh, shooting some oil into the uh, cylinder and uh, was able to free the motor up very, very shortly after it. It actually blew the connecting rod. I wouldn't go ahead and sell this onto somebody else. But, however, I am willing to uh, give it the old college try. I've got some lubricating oil. I'll try and free it up really quickly with, uh, you know, the quick way. And if that doesn't work, I'll just pour a bunch of oil through the, the cylinder head here. That's probably more than enough. Let's go ahead and see if she'll give us a rotate. Oh yeah, she's see you solid. That freed her up. She is tight though, and not in a good way. So that way it worked. When they're really stubborn, you can uh, dump a bunch of oil into the cylinder. And usually, you can uh, wait overnight or something, just wait a while for it to kind of saturate everything and then give it another try. And a lot of the times, you'll be able to unseize it. So, I haven't really messed with this thing. I picked it up in the van, the garbage picked it, and uh, brought it back here to the house. And it's been sitting in my mower hoard ever since. But I'm just curious if this thing will run or not now. I don't even know if there's gas still left in it. I think it all leaked out. Yeah, bone dry. Wouldn't surprise me at all. If that carburetor needs work too, but... We'll throw some gas in her, I'll uh, check the oil. And uh, it's definitely low on oil, so we'll fill that up as well, just to see what happens. So this thing was actually bone dry. That little bit that you guys saw on the dipstick was uh, just uh, residual stuff that was, uh, I'm assuming, at the bottom of the block. But when I flipped the mower over, it got on it. So now we are just a hair below the full mark, and uh, the oil of the day, some Rotella T1 straight grade 30 weight oil. Good stuff, I love that oil. It's my uh, favorite oil right now. So I've got, still got my third hand installed. I honestly have no idea how this thing's going to act. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this. Oh, she's still a little tight but we might be able to get her get her freed up enough if, uh, if she decides to kick over or not. So, I'll go ahead and 
hear the carburetor doing something. I have no idea if there's even fuel in the bowl. I haven't checked. Let's go ahead and give her a crank and see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen with this thing, whether it's going to uh, work or not, but I've got you guys facing the exhaust. So let's see. Let's see if this thing will even fire. So, let's give her a crank. Ooh, that was a kick. that was making that little bit of noise but wow boys I can't believe this thing uh, runs that good very very minimal uh, oil burning from the exhaust I mean a little bit of that smoke I'm sure was the uh, liquid wrench that I used but that's okay that stuff once it kicks over it just shoots it out the exhaust valve anyways and right out the exhaust it's no big deal but uh, wow I'm honestly more surprised that it actually fired because it's a Tecumseh and these things love to have carburetor problems, but this thing is uh, missing something, which I have for it. Can't believe it. Least amount of work got a Tecumseh running. Honestly, out of all the lawnmowers that I've fixed, this one uh, was definitely one of the few that required the least amount of work to it. Wow. So I might as well just clean it up and uh, get it going again. I guess it's good to have another bagged mower for out here, so... Well, so I didn't show it on camera. But I just ran that lawnmower for about a good, for about a good 20, 30 minutes. Got all the grass over here, around my dad's antenna and the grape trailer. Got a lot of the stuff over there that was still green and long. Went around here and did some spots around the side of the building and in the back and everything and it handled it like a trooper. These, uh, you know, every now and again I always pick up a lawnmower that, or any other tool or appliance with a motor on it and it really surprises me. Unfortunately this one uh, needs to have its filter serviced. It's got the cone or the uh, cylinder type filter. Wow, that, uh, that filter's seen better days, that's for sure. So, you know what, I'll probably go ahead and probably go ahead and just go pick up a new one. Not really that big of a deal. But, wow. Figured I'd go ahead and update you guys a little bit with that. But I plan on keeping this one. I don't plan on selling it. The reason for that is even though it'd probably do somebody uh, just fine running it how it is, um, I just wouldn't really, I don't really want a chance at put, selling it on to somebody else, even if it is just for 40 or $50. Because in all honesty, this thing could uh, go the same way that, as I was saying earlier, that this motor did. Or the guy unseized it and uh, it just came apart on him. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a new filter for this and keep this mower for out here. Normally I use this one for all the mowing out here now. I got rid of that uh, self-propelled I had because it just had a bag on it and the mulching capability and the side throw is so much more useful for out here, but this will have its uses. And uh, I know I don't want to throw it away and I know I don't want to sell it to anybody else, so it really only gives me one option and that's to keep it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stay tuned for more. There's going to be always more mower videos coming. I know I don't get them to you guys extremely frequently, but I'm telling you guys that uh, it's 100% reliant on me finding them and picking them up in the first place. Trust me, guys, if I had an unlimited supply of lawnmowers to work on, you guys would have an unlimited supply of videos to watch. 
but I try and get you guys a little bit of everything. So, uh, anyways, enough of me babbling. I'm just glad I got this thing working. So, until next time, guys, you all stay classy, stay tuned for more.